solubility of alcohols in water experiment put seven test tubes in a test tube rack and add in two mils of deionized water in each of the test tubes one and two of your experiment now we're going to do step two where we're going to put in food coloring one drop of food coloring in each of the test tube so deionized water plus one drop so the food coloring is to allow us so that's just three meals of water with the food color give it a shake to let the really dissolve meals of alcohol so we got the methanol so you got three meals of water in there but only two meals of ethanol and let's see what happens to the methanol methanol is completely um, miscible so we cannot the second test tube with two meals of ethanol with three meals of water and it's completely miscible again and uh, there's no separation of uh, these two liquids in two different layers they all mix really well we say this is miscible then we look at uh, the third test tube which is propanol again propanol two meals of propanol in three meals of uh, the ionized water is completely miscible and let's look at what happened to butanol so we have three meals of water with two meals of butanol butanol is less than the ionized water and let's see what happened here you can see very clearly there are two different layers there um, the top layer is the less dense butanol the bottom layer is water and try to give it a shake and see what happens again it didn't separate very well you can see the dark blue which is the water and the light blue is our butanol okay and the last uh, second uh, so it is the fifth with the fifth carbon chain that is pentanol and let's see what happens when we add two meals of pentanol to three meals of water and, uh, you can see there are two layers there sitting very nicely on top of the water give it a little bit of a shake and see what happens uh, you can see the light blue the light blue is actually um, pentanol and the uh, dark blue below in the second layer below at the bottom is actually water so no let's look at the sixth one carbon chain two meals of hexanol to three meals of water and let's see what happens to it again it's two layers which is um, floating on top two meals three meals water below they are not mixable let's give it a shake and see what happens and sit for a while and sitting for a while it turns light blue you can still see the layer very clearly light blue on top octanol sorry octanol two meals of octanol to three meals of water and let's see what happens again it is two layers you can see two layers here the bottom layer is water the two meals Octanol is floating on top, it is less dense than water, give it a shake and see what happens. It turns light blue and it's still on the top layer, not mixing with the bottom layer. Methanol, propanol and ethanol, they're all miscible in water. On the other hand, butanol, pentanol, hexanol and octanol, they will form two layers 
and they are not soluble in alcohol. Now you have to write your conclusion for the experiment.